Welcome to lecture outline 12. This is going to be all about gases and this is an example from our everyday life on how gases affect uh, any time we fly. And this is an article actually it was from 2017. It's from the New York Times, hopefully a credible news source. And it was talking about how in Arizona temperatures were getting up to approximately 125, 126 degrees Celsius sorry, degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, and at that point, they were canceling flights. Uh, and the reason they were canceling flights is because the airplanes uh, were, uh, it was too hot. And so as the temperature increases, you get less dense air. And we will see that the air is a gas. Less dense air also uh, drawn here as sparser air molecules, right? Same volume, less particles, less mass is going to be lower density. And that that is going to uh, allow the plane to create less lift as the wing cuts through these smaller number of air particles. And that leads to uh, longer takeoff runs. So you need to use to get more speed up to get the plane off of the uh, ground. And what you might imagine is once you get up high, the air cools off anyway. Um, so it's less of an issue, but for takeoffs, when it's, uh, there are actually design limitations that cut off right around this temperature. And it depends on the size and the type of, and the weight of the aircraft as well. Um, but so as climate change becomes more and more of an issue, we are seeing more and more airplanes that uh, are days where it's that hot and we're going to have um, uh, flight cancellations. I mean, it's just one of the many things you're seeing that uh, climate change is causing changes to the weather, which is affecting our everyday lives.